Hi everyone, in this video tutorial I'll be teaching you guys how to apply a mask in Adobe Flash CS6. What I have in front of me is an example I created earlier on of a mask being applied onto some text. So if I hit Control and Enter, you'll see the following effect that the mask has on the text. And this is what we are going to try to create in this video tutorial. So let's get started, let's go to File new brand new actions group 3.0 and the first thing we are going to want to do is increase the canvas size to 200 percent I'll then go over to the text tool then to fill color and I'll select a dark greenish color I'll then type in the word Viridian I'll drag Viridian to the center of the canvas page and I'll convert Viridian to a symbol I'll have the name as text, the, the type to movie clip, and I'll set the registration to center. I'll then create a new layer. I'll name the uh, layer Mask. I'll then click on the Rectangle tool, then to fill color, and this time I'll change the color to a light greenish color. I'll create a small but thin rectangle right in front of Rudian and I'll convert that into a symbol. I'll name it mask, have the type as movie clip and I'll set the registration to center. Once we've done that I'll click on the 51st frame of the mask layer. I'll hold down shift and control and then I'll click on the 51st frame of the first layer. Basically, that will select both 51st frames of each layer. I'll then right-click, then insert keyframe. Once I've done that, I'll want to click anywhere within the mask layer. Right-click, then go to motion tween. Basically, this will fill up that entire layer with this blue color. I will then go to my 50th frame of the mask layer, click on my rectangle, go to modify, transform, free transform, I will hold down the alt key and drag my rectangle to enlarge itself over the text. That will produce this grey dotted line which you can see on the screen. Basically that indicates that a motion tween is present and that this uh, rectangle will enlarge itself to this size. So what I want to do now is I want to click on the first frame of the mask layer and as you can see that would be the starting point of the motion tween. I want to create, I want to select, sorry I want to right click on mask then hit mask to apply the mask like so. You can see that it's uh, it's vanished but don't worry the mask is still there the, or our project is still there. If you click on the 50th frame, you can still see that it's still there. So once you've done that, if you hit Control and Enter, you'll see that we've created the following effect. Uh, basically that's it for this tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel and like my video. Stay tuned for the next tutorial as I'll be teaching you how to create an animated logo uh, with the method and technique that we learned in this tutorial. So please watch my next video, stay tuned, um, please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.